Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jim with Jim's Garage Toys and today I am going to be doing the final adjustments on my 2017 Corolla IM. Um, previously I had installed the adjustable control arms. Um, these right here. These guys right here from SPC. And uh, so I've got those installed, but I need to go ahead and dial in the camber to where I want it. And that way I can take the car down and get the entire alignment dialed in. I would rather uh, kind of get the camber where I want it. I have a bubble gauge where I can get that where I want and go from there. And then they can dial everything else in. So without, uh, without going into much more, let me show you the process that you have to do if you ever install these or uh, something similar so that you can adjust the camber. The first thing you want to do, obviously, is get the car jacked up safely. Use your jack stands and hydraulic jack. So then you got to take the tire off. So let's get that sucker off. There go. Just like that. That sucker's off. Okay, give you a closer shot here. This is what I'm going to be working on right here. So need to get this uh, bolt out. There's a nut on this right side. We want to go ahead and just loosen that real quick and pop the bolt out. And then we can rotate this piece right here, either in and out, depending on how you need to adjust your camber or how you want to adjust your camber. Um, I just put new tires on, so I didn't want to wear these out. So I am going to Take this off. I have found that the nuts don't move initially. They bite over here pretty good until you start to get it loose. And then once you do, then the nut will spin. nut off. Once you do, then go ahead and just kind of twist and pull the, the bolt out. You might have to give it a little bit of a kind of push on it. There you go. Just pushing on it just a little bit to take the pressure off of the bolt. But there's the bolt once you get that out. Now we can go ahead and adjust this. So you can see if this will pop out. If it if it won't pop out that first time, just take a pry bar or something. There you go. So and pop it up. Now we want to go ahead and adjust this outer in depending on how you want to do it. Right now I'm at Three, deg three degrees of negative camber, so which means that the bottom of the tire is sticking out more than the top. So I want to make that more vertical. So I want to push the tire out toward the outside of the car, so I want to turn this counterclockwise. And I, it gave a, the directions for this, has given a uh, number of turns equals how many degrees so but I'm gonna go ahead and turn so there's one turn and there's two turns so I'm going to see if that gets me where I want to be so 
two turns of that. And I will go ahead and get this and back up, there we go, get the, bolt back in, like I said, sometimes you just gotta kinda, there we go, kinda pull down, push in, out on the hub just to kinda get it lined up, and then once it does, while putting pressure on it, it'll pop through just like that. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and put the nut back on. So that, that's dialed in. Now we'll go ahead and and the nut you can't see it, but I'm watching it here. And the nut's not even turning. So, which is nice. Okay, get that nice and snug down. There we go. Okay, go ahead and snug the collar bolt down here. There we go. And put the tire back on. Before you take your camber measurement, you want to go ahead and you want to move the vehicle a little bit. Always start these by hand. Don't want to cross thread them. That is the process that you go through. It takes me about 10 minutes to remove the tire, make the adjustment, and then put the tire back on. And so now I'll drop it back down. I'll back it out of the driveway and back in, let this kind of settle. Then I'll take a measurement and see if I'm good. If I still need to adjust from there, then I'll repeat the process and go from there. So let me go ahead and drop this down, pull it out, and we'll see where we are. That's perfect. That's perfect. I'm at one degree, one degree of negative camber now, so it's just a little bit. So the, the top of the tire is tucked in just a skosh. And uh, so that's okay. I don't mind having that little bit of camera, camber because that does help with handling but it's not enough that it's gonna cause the tire to wear. So, that is perfect. It was at three before, and that was causing too much wear. I, uh, I'd like to keep it at, uh, um, at around one, no more than one and a half. So that's, that's awesome. So that is the process. Um, nailed this on the first try. 
so you do you do tend to get to know the car and you'll get to know how much you know how many turns on that particular vehicle uh, adjusts it how much and I thought that uh, I thought that two would go ahead and get me where I need to be and I'll have them verify it when they tie tie and adjust the toe I want to get the toe zeroed out and uh, that way it's not scrubbing anything either for mileage and it's being as most effective that way but so I will also <clears throat> I'll also go ahead and post the link to, to my little camber tool this comes in very handy as a nice little check and we're gonna go from there so thank you guys if you guys kind of like this this type of thing um, please let me know any questions comments anything uh, go ahead and make yourself be heard down below and like I said I will go ahead and link some of these other things and uh, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button and uh, share it with anybody that you know that this might help out and uh, subscribe of course and uh, trying to get everybody to subscribe more that happens to be watching these uh, videos only about five percent of people hit the subscribe button didn't cost you anything it's free but it sure does help me and uh, it does take some time to do these and uh, do all the video and editing and all that stuff so I'd sure appreciate it I would uh, makes a huge huge difference so but that's one more thing done and we'll go from there so till next time guys we'll see you down the road one thing I want to point out that you can do to even give a quick eyeball check is if you have a right angle you can go ahead and butt that up against the bottom of your wheel there and you can kind of see the gap so there's just a small a small gap there hard to probably tell in the in the picture that's maybe a half a centimeter, about five millimeters or so from the lip of the wheel. So you can tell there's just a little bit of negative camber. Didn't show doing this side, but it was the same process. But it took me um, a couple of tries to get that one dialed in versus the left one. The left one just the first time and I got, got right on it. So, but that is it guys I just thought I would toss that little tidbit in there hopefully that helps somebody let me know we'll talk to you guys in the comments <laughs>